Well, hello everybody, and thank you so much for joining us on our Amplifying August event. I am so thrilled that you're with us, whether you're listening live or on the replay. We are so blessed to have you here with us. And I wanna point out, if you're here listening, whether it's live or on the replay, that means that you have an inkling that there is something else out there that may be a better path for you. And the fact that you're here having an open mind and researching this speaks volumes about who you are and the strength of person you are. So I just wanted to congratulate you for joining us and for giving yourself and your family the opportunity that this may impart to you. So thank you for being here. You certainly want to respect your time. I hope you've been enjoying the stories. I certainly have. You know, I know all of these ladies already, but hearing their stories and watching, you know, them in their just daily lives has been really great for me, and I hope it's been great for you too. Everybody's going to kind of resonate with different stories, and I think it's great that you get to hear the variety of backgrounds that we all have and to show you what a great community that we have and diversity of consultants and the fact that any background, any person from any background has the tools and resources to be successful. And so keep that in mind as you listen to all these stories. Let me introduce you to myself. Um, my name is Claudia Cometa. I am a pharmacist by profession, and I graduated from the University of Florida in 2003 with my doctorate of pharmacy degree. Thought I was on the right course, had everything planned out, you know, did my pharmacy school in six years, and you know, it was all on track. And what I realized after I got out of school is that what the theory of a career in pharmacy was, was not really what I was seeing and, and feeling. And so as I went through my years, I noticed that I was job hopping a lot. So if any of you out there are like me, I would get into a job, y'all gung-ho, bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, ready to make change, uh, ready to you know help a system that maybe needed some improvement. And each time was met with get back in your box, settle down. What we're doing is perfectly fine. And you know, then I would look for the next job because I'm sure the next job's gonna be different, right? And so I had many jobs because I job hopped a lot, never got fired. This was all on my own terms, but, but I realized that, and it took me years to realize that I was the common denominator. So I, it, it was me that was not happy in these jobs. It, the next job wasn't gonna be any different. I uh, knew that there was something else that I, I needed to do and I, that just wasn't fulfilling me. So fast forward to 2014, in February of 2014, I became a customer of Rodan and Fields because I was simply just looking for another product line to use, had been a relatively you know, decent product junkie for a while, had used most everything and hadn't really seen much of a beneficial effect. So I became a product user as a customer was skeptical at first, because that's what we are as medical professionals. We enter everything with skepticism. But within two weeks, noticed a significant difference in my skin. The radiancy, some of my darkness was already, discoloration was already lightening and brightening. And so it was pretty much gonna be a product user for life at that point. It was significant enough for me to be solid in my choice with this product line. Really had no intention to do anything else with it. It was just a happy product user. Fast forward six months from then, and I received an email from my boss that made a huge impact in the course of my life. And at that time, you know, it was kind of a heated topic, but now I just am so, so thankful that it happened. And basically we were just chatting over email about, you know, PTO, vacation hours, the details really don't matter. But what he said in the last email was, yep, you can't have everything. And so it sent chills down my spine because I realized in that moment that I had given the definition and ability to, for me to achieve that everything to somebody else. I had put, and I, now I don't mean everything as far as materialistic things. We all have our definition of what everything is, right? What we want out of life. And the fact that I was being told that I can't have everything meant that I was allowing somebody else to control that. And that was a defining moment for me. And I realized that I couldn't do that anymore or I was gonna be unhappy forever. And so three weeks from that date was my last day at work as a pharmacist and that was the end of that. And I have not looked back. Now, as you listen to other stories, obviously, you know, people are on different paths and my journey is different from everybody else's journey. And that's the beauty of it, is that we all come in with different reasons, different whys, and those whys can evolve over time. But I was ready to make that change in my life. I was ready to define what I wanted out of life and then put the power in my hands to make that happen. And so I did, I became a consultant. I never looked back. I studied up on the company. I learned, I actually started going to events in Vancouver as we were in pre-launch there in Canada and 
I cannot tell you how impressed I was by the corporate team. You know, there was, it's not raw, raw, it's not hype. It was high integrity, professionalism, built on sound medical, medically trained dermatologists who have given us sound products. And so I, I never looked back. And so what I want to impart, and let me just actually back off of, um, backpack off of what Kelly mentioned earlier, which was you never know when you're gonna need the plan B. And the time to plan for that plan B is well in advance of it. Um, and so not long after I enrolled as a consultant, I ended up moving back to Florida and found out that my father had lymphoma and it was very widespread. Had I not made this decision and had I not had the time freedom that this allowed me, I would not have been able to be at every doctor's visit, at every hospital stay, I, I was, and I was there for all of it. And that, that is life changing. Did I know that then? Not at all. I had no idea that was gonna happen. My dad was in perfect health, no idea that was gonna happen. But had I not made that decision, and had I been stuck at work in an hourly job where I had to clock in and clock out and I'd already maxed out my vacation and couldn't leave to be with my dad that last year, that would have made a huge impact on my life. So when we say the words life-changing, we say it with intention and meaning and we, we respect those words because it really can be life-changing for you. So what I would encourage you to do, listen to the stories, ask questions. The consultant that brought you on here is happy to even connect you with one of us if you would like to know more about our stories. Um, take it and learn from it and ask yourself if, if what you're doing now, if the path that you're on now is going to get you to exactly where you wanna be in five years, awesome. If you don't think that, if you think what you're doing right now is going to keep you in the same place or nowhere close to your goals in five years, it's time to look at something different. And we would love to share with you what we have because we are confident that this can be a vehicle for change for you. So I hope that was helpful for you. Continue to listen to the stories. There's great, great consultants popping on later. And I hope this was something that will help you kind of at least take a step back and think, think through what you could do and what possibilities are out there. Have a wonderful rest of your day and we will talk to you soon.